fans. Welcome to the past. My name is Turtle. This is Constant. We're fired up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't just... Anyway, oh. we're talking about fantasy football today. It's, uh, you know, the preseason's happening right now for the NFL. Regular season is going to happen, mm-hmm. and you can't, I think, nowadays talk about football without bringing up fantasy football. I mean, do you, first of all, do you play fantasy football? No. I, I, as I said before, uh, probably on here, uh, no. I have played in the past, and I have done the same thing that rookie fantasy football guys do and pick with your heart, and it got stomped on. And then the next year, I picked really smart. I think that was the year where I picked Peyton Manning first or second, and he didn't play. It's just No. Sorry, no. Uh, but I will, if you guys want to. So, I mean, we were talking about starting one up here for the pass, getting people in there. So, definitely, if you guys want to be a part of that, maybe we, you know, we'll, we'll set it, we'll set it up. Like if, my- like, if we started uh, for the pass, a fantasy football league, of course I'll participate and I'll oh, have fun. Yeah, with it. I mean, anybody who wants to participate, if we did one for the pass, I would play because I'm going to win and like I want to be able to interact with our oh, fans. Says it. the guy who doesn't like fantasy football, there but he's going to win. Yeah, but listen, <laughs> even though I don't like something, just like this, I'm just put out there. Even though I don't like something, I'm good at it. You're right I here. can't. Even, I can't even believe myself. But I would play. You I can't cannot, even say that with a straight. I know. Face. That's what I'm I can't even believe myself. I'm the greatest of all time. Right. I tried my Muhammad Ali, but it didn't work. But I would play definitely, just because I feel like when I first started fantasy football, I started it for the social aspect of it. Because just like you said, you know, you can't necessarily watch your own team because you're worried about whatever. But it's when you're in the right kind of sports bar environment, that other guy is a Falcons fan or whatever. Yeah. And so you end up talking to him. And he's like, oh, yeah. You're like, what happened? He's like, oh, so-and-so scored. Like, oh, sweet, he's on my team. He's like, yeah, you want a beer? Yeah, you want a beer? And then it's cool. But- now, the one thing I did notice is, one, yeah, you're on your phone, which people are going to be on their phone anyway. Mm-hmm. Two, I stopped watching the Broncos 100%. And started watching about 60%. Because I'm watching everybody else. Oh. And then you have to explain to people, like, no, I want the Broncos to win. But I also want the Chiefs to win because this person's on my team. And I want, and everyone's like, what? Now yeah. it's become conversation. Like, oh, yeah, fantasy football. And then you have conversations about that. And not even about the damn sport anymore. So mm-hmm. I don't mind fantasy football. I'm just, my fear is that fantasy football will take over actual football. Fantasy football, in my opinion, is already taking over football in a certain way because I feel like again and I said this before I feel like the NFL is pandering to uh, the mediocre fan now I feel like they are trying to water down the game and make it more of a scoring opportunity so that people will be all interested in it and then so those are the same type of people that want to play fantasy football diehard football fans are like I don't need no damn fantasy this dude's playing right in front of me right now get out of my way shut up give me something to eat anytime I go back to Denver to watch a football game go to certain bars Nobody has their phone in their hand. It's yeah. in, they're watching the game. They have a beer in their hand and probably a burrito in front of them. So you learn a lot when you're playing fantasy football. Yeah. You know, everyone's like, yeah, running back runs. Like, yeah, but what makes this running back better than this one? And that's what I think a majority of people, not all, find that intriguing. You're like, well, I, I got to go further down this rabbit hole and learn more about football. The- I think it, it's helping out widening a fan base because now, you know, a lot of females are playing fantasy football. And that's a new demographic for them to reach. I, w- I want a lady who's going to come up and ask about sports with me. If at least she was cool enough, to be like I don't know what I'm doing, and ask. You know what happens? Like, you- I know what I'm doing. You're like, mm, you know I don't what happens you do. to the poor guy that gets with that girl? They end up being like me. No, no. You know what happens? <laughs> Serious business. You know what happens? He's like, oh, this is great. She's in the sports. She's in the whatever. And dun, 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 you walk down the aisle. So all of a sudden, she's like, get your ass up and cut the grass and do all sorts of stuff. But being watching football, you got plenty of time to do that. You can tape the game. That's what happens. They're not diehard fans. They're coming in just trying to pick up a dude, and so it's popular. If, if that's the case, I want to hear a girl in a stadium next to me with the jersey go, Bro, how could he not get the first down on that? How did he not elude that tackle? I'm like, I love you. I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, there's some diehard girls that I know that are into sports, and I would be like, you want to play fantasy football? She's like, why would I do that? Because that gets in the way of my beer drinking and watching the Bears. And I'd be like, wow. <laughs> now, and then she's like, let's eat some wings. I'm like, that's who you want to be talking to. Are you taken? Are you taken? Yeah, unfortunately, she's a friend of my wife's. No. Oh. She's married. Damn it. Oh. But she's cool. Shout out to Amber. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's it. Ron has sounded the damn horn. The light's flashing. We got to go. Make sure you hit us up on social media. All of it will be in the description. Make sure you click the subscribe button and uh, join in on the fun. Leave some comments. That's about it. Yeah? Yeah. Don't break your bong. Don't break your bong. And don't be be leery of the girl who wants to play fantasy football. If she's hot, it doesn't matter. 
That could be one. Uh, yeah, okay. One hit it, quit it. All right, you're right. <laughs> Just saying. Just 16 saying. weeks of fun right there. <laughs> I, felt, I felt like that's half the introduction. You remember, Heyman? Yeah. <laughs> you remember Paul Heyman over here? What's going on? I think, you know what? It'd be. Just looking at football. Right, it, it, right. It, it, yeah. it's, it's a bold statement, but I think I can go toe to toe with Paul Heyman. Whoa. Whoa.